let's get a little bit more reaction to the double resignation tonight of Rishi Sunak and Sajid Javid from the Conservative MP for Hitchin and Harpenden and a vice chair of the Conservative Party, Bim Afalami. Bim joins me in the studio now. Bim's a regular member of the News House panel, so it's very uh, pleasure to, to see you, Bim, a little bit earlier. Your thoughts on the Prime Minister tonight? Should he stay or should he go? Well, I can tell you that earlier on today, I went to the funeral of a very long-standing councillor in my constituency. Much loved, not just because of his work as a councillor and as a mayor, but also because of what he did in the community more broadly and family and friends. And a lot of the talk um, was about his deep integrity and the, what that means to people in this country, not just in my constituency, but across the country. And I think that what's been very sad over the recent allegations about um, the former Deputy Chief Whip and other things that have happened over recent weeks that I just don't think the Prime Minister any longer has not just my support but he doesn't have I don't think the support of the party or indeed the country anymore and I think for that reason uh, he should step down. You're a Vice Chairman of, yeah. of the Conservative well, probably not. Uh, probably not after having said that but yes. All right well <laughs> Let's see if you retain your position. You're not resigning as vice chair. Of the well, no. Look, party. I think I have to. I think you, you have to resign. Right? You have to resign uh, because I can't serve um, right. under the prime minister. But I say that with regret because I think this government's done some great things. I think the prime minister's got a very strong legacy in a huge range of areas. But I just think that uh, when you've lost trust um, of people, uh, and the prime minister asked at the confidence vote to be given time to restore that trust, and I, I took that, um, as many others did in the party, but I think it's become clear, particularly after losing the support of two of his sort of closest cabinet colleagues, that I think the, you know, the time has come for him to stand down. To be clear, Boom, you have just, I believe in the last 30 seconds, resigned as a vice chair of the Conservative Party, because you no longer believe you can support Boris Johnson that is true. either. Have you spoken to colleagues today? Did you know these resignations were coming? How much do you think this is a, a, a coup or a plot being put together by no, someone? No, I think that the, the difficulty about this is that it, it isn't, there is no mastermind, there's no grand plan. You just have a lot of good people who are members of parliament trying to do their best for, them, for the party, for their constituency, and people are independently coming to the same conclusion and that's why I don't want the party to go through a terrible sort of period of infighting. I think the best thing to do is for the Prime Minister to step, to step down. What do you say to people who would say to you, Boris Johnson supporters, Nadine Doris has been very vocal tonight, we believe Ben Wallace and Michael Gove are still supporting, they've been slightly less vocal anyway, that this was a Prime Minister who only two years ago delivered you a majority of 80. That is a the biggest Conservative majority, as well you know, yeah. uh, in 30 years, yeah. and now you're throwing him out. Well, we have a parliamentary system, not a presidential one. And however um, capable, how effective somebody is at, at winning elections, and the Prime Minister has demonstrated that in spades uh, in the 2019 general election, you need to retain the support of, of Parliament, and that means the Conservative Party for us, and I think the Prime Minister has lost that support, and I think that what's happened over the... The former Deputy Chief Whip, Chris Pincher, was really the last straw for me, and it was the last straw, I think, for a lot of colleagues. Why the last straw? Because you felt you could no longer trust what he said? Well, I just, I just think that you can't be in a position as a Downing Street, or indeed as a Prime Minister, where people go out, colleagues go out, Cabinet colleagues, other people go out, having been told things that later on turn out not to be true, and I just don't think that, that, that people are willing to put up with this sort of thing, uh, and neither should they have to. OK. Another argument being put around by the Johnson lawyers tonight is they're desperately trying to keep their man in place and none of us have any idea, quite frankly, how long that can continue, is this is the wrong time to change leader. We're in a proxy war with Russia, the land war going on in Europe, not so far away, which we're busy pummeling arms into in the desperate hope that Ukraine is not defeated by Russia. We're in a cost of living crisis, inflation's almost at 10%. Mm. The last thing the country really needs, no matter how incompetent the leader might be or how incompetent you think he might be, is a protracted, painful, long, soul-searching leadership contest in which you lot rip each other apart for three months. No, it's not a good outcome. <laughs> you know, leadership contests are not a good outcome. I do not want to be here telling you now that I don't support my leader and, and the Prime Minister. That is not the position I want to be in, but I feel I've been forced to be put in that position, as has the Chancellor, as has the Health Secretary, as was Party Chairman Oliver Dowden, who, you know, who I know was, was, was really was put in such a terrible situation. So. Of course, there's no good time to do this sort of thing. But ultimately, in politics, trust matters, integrity matters, 
and doing the right thing matters, notwithstanding whatever happens to your own sort of political career. All right. Well, um, the, the natural sequitur is, if you don't want Boris Johnson as Prime Minister, who oh, do you want? You I, must have some idea what you're no, going to do. I, I think there are, there are many people who are uh, able and will see in the... If there's an upcoming leadership contest, you know, in due course, what, what happens? Obviously, I, I have no idea. OK. Has anyone asked you to, for their support? Has anyone said, no, no, go on, on, the, on the broadcast airwaves tonight, no. declare you have no comments in Boris Johnson no. and you can serve in my government? No, no, no they have not, um, largely because nobody knew that I was going to say this to you. So, uh, so, no, nobody has said that to me. OK.